Hey guys, welcome back to the Second Time Lucky Mining channel. In today's quick video, we are going to set up a Ergo node. Now, if you like the Ergo content, please smash the like button or maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. But enough of selling my channel, let's jump into the content. Now, in today's video, I'm going to continue my series of discovering Ergo or learning more about the Ergo ecosystem, but more specifically, setting up a Ergo node. Now, in full transparency, I've set up a Ergo node a couple of times before, and I followed the official guide and I had a look at some of the YouTube videos videos for some of the guides that I consider being good so that being the mining king and son of a text video and I'll leave a link to those in case you wanted to go and watch those and interested in setting it up but specifically in this video I'm going to do it slightly different to what I've done in the past a lot of things has changed recently in the ergo ecosystem there is now UTXO snapshots that makes the syncing a little bit faster and there's also nipper powers that makes the consumption of resources of the Ergo node also a lot lighter. And that's really what I wanted to have a look at and why I'm actually making this video today. Now, I'm not going to follow the official setup guide to set up the Ergo node. I'm actually going to make use of a open source script that one of the Ergo community members has created. And I'll leave a link in a video description and to his Twitter profile, it's Lado Pixel. So I'm going to use his setup script, which I've tested already, surprise, surprise. It is super easy to set up a Ergo node. There's still a couple of things that you need to do, but the whole process is simplified using his simple script. And that's really what I'm going to show you guys today. Enough talking about it. Let's jump on the computer and I'll show you guys how easy it is to set up a Nipper Pow Ergo node using the Lido Pixels setup script. Okay, so here we go on the computer. Now I've got Lido Pixels GitHub open here, and this is probably the thing that I like most about the Ergo ecosystem. If not everything is open source, there might be a couple that's not, but most of the things are open source, and that's actually what I like. Now, if I go ahead and look at his GitHub here, if I scroll a little bit further down, he's actually got the three steps that you need to follow in order to create the Ergo node using his script here. Now, starting off with step number one is you need to specify your API key for the Ergo configuration file um, within the script here, and it's in my key. Then you need to give the script the correct permissions, and then you just need to go ahead and run it. It's got a couple of extra things here in terms of uh, if you wanted to specify it in a specific directory, you can go ahead and specify that there. So it's really the three specific steps that you need to follow in order to set up the node. Obviously, there are some prerequisites. You need to have Java on the machine in before you actually go and set it up. So that's one of the prerequisites that's not necessarily mentioned here, but it just goes with setting up a Ergo node. Now, before we just use the script, let's have a look and see what's within the script to make sure there isn't anything funny and that we sort of can understand what's going on within the script here. You don't necessarily need to be a full-on programmer and I am not a bash expert, but I can sort of understand what's happening. Now, if I just scroll a little bit further up and let's go into the actual start Ergo script, this is again just comments. This is the important piece here, my key uh, he specified hula here. Um, so this is what's going to be the API key. So if you wanted to do this, um, I would definitely suggest you change um, this specific key here because that will be your API key specifically for your wallet. So it's important to to change this. And, I, and again, we can go ahead and look at that and I'll show you guys how I'm going to change that. This is again just text. There's the Ergo logo that is put in. Uh, what's interesting here is if you remember previously, um, you've got the option to set a specific folder where you want this to happen in. Uh, and again, this is just the code where he specifies if you've set a folder, use that. Otherwise, he's going to give it a default of this. So again, that's what's happening here. Next up, further down, low, down here, this is just text. This is where he specifies the download uh, path for the Ergo node and then the actual file that needs to download. Um, and again, this is just the downloading part of it. Um, moving on here, this is where he creates the Ergo configuration file. And again, if you've set up a Ergo node before, you need to normally create the Ergo configuration file yourself. And this is the nice stuff that why I'm actually going to use this. Again, some of these things are just default and you can find the exact text that needs to go on there. But these are the things that I am looking for here and why I'm actually using the script here. You can see he is switching on Nipper Power Bootstrap. You can see it's set to true. And that's 
where he does this and he's keeping blocks 1440. So it's just how many blocks he's keeping. Now, next up, you can see he is then running the actual node. This is what this step does. From that point onwards, he skips over to the next part where he actually hashes your text. So if you if I scroll a little bit further up, this text that you've specified right at the top here, your API key at the bottom, he's using that here to go and hash that. And then he writes that information that comes back from the API response. He writes that back into the configuration file and then runs the node again. So that's really what he is doing within this bash script. So there isn't anything funny here or uh, malicious or anything like that. It's basically the normal steps that you would have gone through to set up your Ergo node. He's just using bash script to automate that in a simple way for you. So I really like what I see here. It's really simple. And again, the key things that you need to take away from this is I would highly suggest you update your key here in case you wanted to do it yourself. And again, I'll do that. Um, and then potentially we would need to go and change the versions if that happens in the future. You can do some other things if you wanted to have some other configuration in here. You can just go and change this. But um, what is in here, I'm sort of aligned to. It's nothing funny. I would have set up my node the same way. Okay, so now that we've gone over the bash script here, I'm just going to hit back. And we are actually going to go ahead and set up our Ergo node, making use of this specific bash script. Now, how do we do that? I've got a putty session open here where I've created a small little VM that's got Linux server on. And again, you could use Linux desktop if you wanted to. You can even do it in Windows. I'm not exactly sure how you would go ahead and do everything in relation to the bash script. I'm assuming you need to use PowerShell, but it should still work. But in my example, I'm going to use Linux server here. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do, I've already logged in here, but I need to make sure that I install the prerequisites. Now, as I mentioned before, you need to have Java runtime environment eight, at least on the machine. This is a fresh installation. I've just done the patching. I haven't done anything else. And that's the first step that I'm going to do. So what, how do I find out what Java version do I have? I'm just going to put in Java dash dash version. And that would tell me um, there is no Java found here. In case I wanted to go ahead and install that, these are the commands that I need to install. So in my case, I'm just going to install the minimum here, which is this piece here. So I'm just going to copy that. And this is nice about Linux. It actually shows you the command here. So I'm just going to right click the command and it will automatically paste that within my shell. So I'm just going to hit enter. It's going to ask for my password. So I'm just going to type that in. Do I want to install? Say yes. And it's go ahead and download Java and install the necessary packages specifically for Java. Okay, so now that I've got Java, let's go ahead and look at the setup instructions here. Now, as you can see, step number one, download the script with the extension and update the API key. Now, how do you go ahead and do that? I'm just gonna make use of, if I just go a little bit further up here and go code, and I'm going to use the HTTPS and you can see clone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make use of GitHub's git clone function. And that's sort of what's specified here. And again, you can go ahead and read the help file here, but it's really easy. So what I'm going to do is git clone and then specify or right click the URL here. And if I hit enter, it's now going to go ahead and download that. So now if I hit LS, it will actually show me the folder that has been created and downloaded. Now, again, if I wanted to go into that folder, I'm just going to go cd ergo dash node dash sh. And that's now how I would go into the folder. If I hit ls, this is now where I can actually see where I'm in. Now, again, the first step that he specifies here is go and download the extension, which we've done, and then go and define your API key. Um, and that's specifically to ensure that that would be configured in the configuration file for Ergo. Now, how do you go ahead and do that? So in my case, what I'm going to do is use nano and then start underscore node dos sh. And what will happen here now is I will actually go into the bash script file here. So if I hit nano, this is now exactly what we looked at a little bit earlier. And this is now where I can go ahead and update 
my key here so what i'm going to do here is just change this from hula to what he had um to testing as or test as an example hit control s to save and control x to exit and that's really step one where i've downloaded the folder and the file i've specified my api key and next up i'm going to move on to step number two okay so looking at step number two is giving the file the correct permissions here now for that he's already giving us the command here so i'm just going to copy this Control c or copy and then i'm going to specify this in the bash script so in my case i'm just going to do sudo because i didn't want to have any issues and then right click you don't need the arrows so let me just change the arrows here like that so basically what i'm doing here is updating the permissions of this specific file here so i'm just going to hit enter and the permissions has been changed okay so last step here is executing this specific file here so basically executing the script now he's got two arguments here is an example without a folder and a one with a folder and if you remember going back to the code here that's where you could specify a specific folder where your data is saved in otherwise it will just go and create a default folder here and again i'm happy with the default so i'm just going to copy this copy that piece here and then paste it in so i'm just going to do sudo just to make sure that there's no permission issues and then hit enter and it's now going ahead and downloading and performing what it needs to perform now while it's doing this as soon as it's done i'm going to actually open up a web page to go and have a look at the actual node so if you can see here the screenshot here is sort of what he has done so that's really what i'm going to do next all right now as you can see here my putty window is very busy downloading and setting up all sorts of things here now how do i know this thing is working correctly is i can actually go ahead and go on to the actual panel for the node and for that you just need to specify the ip address and then panel so that's what i've specified here so as you can see this is just my local ip address and the ergo node uses port 9053 and then slash panel and as you can see here it's busy syncing um, the blockchain here so it's actually very quick you can see it's not even connected to 30 peers yet and it's almost done syncing here so that's really why um, i'm doing it this way or making use either of the bootstrap or nipper pals is it's just a lot quicker in order to get your node up and going now how do i set my api key and where do i find my wallet so to set your api key that's this blue button here now if i hit that you would remember i changed my configuration file he had hula in there and i changed it to test if i'm not mistaken and if i hit save changes it's now can as you can see here the api key is successfully set here and automatically you can see the wallet is also enabled here and that's really how easy it is to set up a ergo node going forward so i'm just going to let it sync but that's really how easy it is to set up a ergo node next up again if you wanted to use this wallet specifically for this video i'm obviously not but you can go ahead into the wallet function here and initialize your wallet and then you would get your seed phrases and specific things regarding your wallet there but again the purpose of this video is just to show you guys how easy it is to set up a ergo node specifically making use of lado pixels startup or setup script here and again kudos to him and i'll leave a link to his github and to his twitter profile um, in the description at the bottom so please go ahead and check him out that's it for this video guys if you've liked the video please like the video and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel if you didn't please specify in the comments what you would like me to change otherwise i'll catch you in the next one cheers